Good afternoon. Um, with Nigel and Molly away and this week's episode of the Bible study not being live, we thought we'd do a little live Q&A um, and a little chat about our experiences of preset Bible study. Uh, Hello everyone. This is Sharon. Sharon is the admin queen of preset. She keeps everything <laughs> moving. Um, if you ever call up with a query, she's the best to answer it. This week's cake we're having in our Bible is a nice chocolate and buttercream cake. Um, and uh, moving swiftly on to the important <laughs> stuff. Uh, Sharon, how long have you been studying um, preset method with the preset method? Five and a half years now, since I started working here. Oh, awesome. Five and a half years ago. I'd never come across it before. Cool. Um, how has it been for you? Um, Overview. It was a little bit of a baptism of fire to start with because I went straight into a PUP class. That's precept wow. upon precept, the most in depth study. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took me a few weeks to get my feet under the table and realise how it was progressing and you know how I was meant to study it but it took a while to get there <laughs> well jumping in right at the deep end yeah, yeah. is <laughs> really difficult um yeah so uh, what's been your favorite study which piece of resources have been your favorite so far I really enjoyed the book of John it's um quite a difficult gospel because it's one of the hardest ones to understand I think that's how it's been explained <laughs> to me anyway but realizing that Jesus was in the beginning and then when they take you back to Genesis and you can actually see him in Genesis, I found that completely amazing. I'd never realised that I'd never really connected the Old Testament with the New Testament before. Fantastic. So the New Old Testament now came alive. So that's great. Um, <laughs> did you, which books did you use for that? Was that the God Are You There or? Uh, no, we were using the precept one precept. Oh wow! Uh, John parts <laughs> one, two, and three. That's a really in-depth thing. a long while yeah. to do. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that's one of the most in-depth. It comes in a massive binder. It's really, really good. It requires a lot of power and work. If you have any questions to ask people who have... I've just started doing um, precept study. I've been doing it for four months. Or someone who's been doing it for a while. If you have any questions about our experiences or uh, how to use the precept materials, please just put them up on the screen and we'll be able to read them and uh, try and respond to you. Yes. Um, yes, yeah, so... Study of John in PUP. That, yes. okay. What was your um, revelation from that? Apart from, is there anything like more you want to expand on? Um, well, the miracles of Jesus. Yeah. Um, you go through and you learn well. He's, you know, how he was controlling all the physical elements and how he was controlling life and death situations, and realizing that he did have the power, and he was showing that power to everyone, and the number of witnesses as well, um, and all the different witnesses that came through. Yeah. Um, where I'd never really thought about witnesses before, and also witnesses from the Old Testament, like Isaiah. Yeah. Um, and, and Abraham was his awesome. witness. So, yeah, fair um, one. Yeah, yeah. I, it was just quite overwhelming, actually. With yeah. And you then realise, gosh, this is a real person, and he was able to do all this. What would I have been like if I'd actually been there and seen it? Yeah. It must have been. It must have been phenomenal. <laughs> One of the things I found really interesting was the, um, when I was studying through Mark, uh, similarly, was how the disciples who'd been with him for like, th were hit there for almost his whole ministry, don't really start noticing his divinity, even though they have all this amazing yeah. um, evidence until about six months before he yeah, dies. They were You're clicking as they're going slow along. To catch on. Some were slower than others. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so there's a question come in. Uh, Eric Brewer. Hello from USA. The preset study changed my life. I'm a pastor today because of it. That's so awesome, Eric. I um, always really appreciate your contributions on Facebook. It makes me feel uh, really happy that we get such a good uh, um, connection. 40 minutes stay in Mark. Yeah, the 40 minutes start study in Mark is life changing. I've done yeah. two of them now. Um, both of them have just really shown the character of Jesus. When you really see the character of Jesus right in front of you, it's very difficult not to respond. Mm. I think that's what I find really helpful about Precept is that it just connects you with the Bible. And when you see like the true character of Jesus, especially over a whole book yes. and seeing it, all those little stories you hear in context, yes. it makes it more powerful and harder not to respond to, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and I really like as well, the characters that Jesus displays are God's characters. And you can see that in the Old Testament yeah. as well. And there's nothing contradictory about it. it, it all, it's all complementary. And I just, you can then see that God in Jesus and Jesus in God, you know, and mm. it's just. So would you say that like, that sort of part of reading the Bible in context? 
Yeah, yeah. I've never, I used to read the Old Testament and not really get it, but now I, I really get the Old Testament. Um, and I actually, it's actually my favourite, I think, from the New Testament. I, I really like the Old Testament. Mm. I really like the fact that they talk about different prophecies and then you can see them being realised as you go along. I call the, the book of Amos. Mm. Yes. All the prophecies that are fulfilled in Amos, and I've got all them written out in my Bible now. <laughs> Sharon has um, one of the best looking preset Bibles I've ever seen. She has a really, really neat uh, marking and very, very uh, nice list. I love the fact that Precept <laughs> Ministry Study does have that room for your personal part. So, like, uh, she has this very neat Bible. I know they have quite a messy Bible with loads of tags in it, lots of writing. Um, even some drawings of hearts, just yeah, because got lovely drawings in yours. that's my <laughs> personal style. But the point is, both of us are getting a similar level of revelation using our own personal styles, but using the same tools, right? Yeah. One of the most important things I've found is studying this way, I remember what I'm learning. And I think yeah. that's one of the most important things, because I'm able to memorise things now, and I'm able to recall things much more easily to mind. Um, when I need them and of course the Holy Spirit just brings yeah. something to mind and I just say it but um, before I started doing inductive Bible study with precept I used to listen to Sunday sermons and sometimes I'd be walking home and I think what did I just hear and I couldn't remember and it wasn't really helping me connect with the stories or helping me connect with everything that was going on in the whole of the mm. Bible and of course now it does um, mm. so yeah I, I, would, I would completely concur. So I think having the ownership of your own study um, is, a real, is another real benefit. I feel really empowered in my Bible study for the first time. Um, I know what to do when I come to the Bible to get consistent revelation. Yeah. Um, and because I've found it out, rather than it be fed to me by um, a, excuse me, um, a person, someone else, or from a pastor even, um, I have ownership of it, so it's my knowledge that I have gleaned from God's word, straight yes. from God to me, and nothing really in between, apart yeah. from a few um, guides, mm. perhaps in the form of like a 40-minute yeah. or um, a light study or a PUP. Yeah. Um, so, what else was I going to say? Oh, um, Eric, thanks for your comment. It's never too early for cake, not even at <laughs> 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, of course, the American yeah. difference. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would suggest in the morning, maybe like an Eccles cake or what else cake you have in the morning cake? Like Gosh. a pancake? Pancake, yeah, yeah. Strong. Yeah, anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what are you studying at the moment? We're just going on to study Galatians at the moment, the um, precept one precept with Galatians. Strong. So we've got our first lesson on that next week, so that's going to be interesting because that's, um, that's a book written by Paul. Yeah. Which Remember? Yeah. A book written by Paul, um, and we came across it in Acts, because we've just finished studying Acts, and we came across the question of the Gentiles being circumcised. So it's a, it's a letter from Paul to the church in Galatia about circumcision. Fantastic. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting, because yeah. it's law versus yeah, massively. new covenant. and Yeah, so... That's a really yeah. interesting... <laughs> um, I'm currently studying 2 Timothy uh, PB, and when I say started, I really have just started, but... Um, it's a book that I've been really interested in for a long time. I've read over a couple of times. Just really want to get, um, excuse me, <laughs> too much cake, cake. <laughs> um, deeper into it and have a better understanding. Um, just a question come through from Alyssa Hankin. Um, we recommend the new inductive study Bibles. Um, they have a large writing, large margin for notes. Um, they have a uh, large single column text which gives, with nice spacing and a larger font which gives it, makes it easier to mark. Another good Bible for marking, um, there's a Bible put out by the Cambridge Press that has wide margins. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it has single column and wide margins. It's very easy to see. That's a very pretty Bible, very expensive. Other Bibles that have lots of space are journaling Bibles. They have really, really wide columns and some blank pages. Uh, in ours also you have space for notes at the beginning of the book and at the end of each book and also um, at the back. Uh, these aren't sort of set out but they do allow you to uh, have that space to write um, and write your notes 
Um, another thing you do mm -hmm. is you use tippings, don't you, where you stick a piece of paper in the margin and have it folding into the text, which yeah. allows you to have more space. Definitely a great yeah. idea. Uh, they pick up. I love how many more things. Uh, what do you think? Oh, brilliant, yes, Eric, uh, we do do a great load of kids' materials. Um, the, they're just about to expand, and actually about to release a new one. Um, Kay told us while she was over here, which is really exciting. Um, and yeah, they're really good ways to introduce your children. Uh, so they're sort of aimed around, what, three? Sort of eight to 12 eight year to 12 year olds. olds, but if and you... And they're on youth yeah. friends as well for and, teenagers. Yeah, you know, and um, they're just about to release a five to eight year olds, which is about learning to read through the Bible, I think. Right. What she said, I wasn't can't it? remember. I wasn't there when she oh, said it. Oh, okay. But, yeah. um, so they're it's releasing a How to Read, which is generally aimed at younger ones. The eight to twelve year old series. If you guide your children through it, you probably can start it around about when they start school. So yeah. uh, about five, six years old. Um, yeah. Depending on the level of your child, and obviously you're the best person to know that. Um, but definitely recommend the How to Study Your Bible because it does. And there's lots of quizzes and puzzles and yeah. fun things for them to do in there as well as learning their scripture and, and helping them to understand what's being said. So we're hoping also over the next uh, year to start producing some uh, resources for children and churches with more colouring in, um, similar to the postcards if you saw them at Creation Fest, something that we can give to children to start them on that preset journey and really empower them to uh, know God for themselves and um, discover truth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have any quite other questions you can think of? Does anyone have any questions yeah. online? No, okay, so um, yeah, that was our little chat. Uh, oh, someone just saying thank you. Alyssa says thank you. Thank, oh, thank you. you. No worries. Um, yeah, so the cake has been fantastic. Um, what else can I say? Um, yeah, so for me, I've only been studying preset for four months. It's been an amazing journey. I feel really empowered by it. Um, I'm really excited about learning more and going into the more the deeper studies like the PUP. Um, the last bit I did a little snippet of a PUP in Genesis yes. um, and that was intense just like the amount Abraham. of revelation yeah, yeah like of Abraham, like Abraham. Abraham. Yeah. it was just yeah. so much um, mm -hmm. there was a thing about the priest in the order of Melchizedek if you don't know about that definitely have a look it's so interesting definitely something to think about um, yeah does yeah. so anyone have any questions before we wrap up and finish off our cake in peace <laughs> no okay then well Thank you very much. Cheerio.